Greetings my esteemed audience. I'm checking in from the forest of tranquility with a follow-up video. So in my latest video titled Are Men Worthless Until Proven Otherwise? I feel that I believe some might have misinterpreted my point. So I will make this video as a, as a clarification and uh, hopefully it will be motivating in a way. Now my previous video it was absolutely not meant to be blackpilling or demoralizing on the contrary I wanted to make it to 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 be motivating actually so um, yeah that was my point at least and I think that my uh, my meaning uh, if you look through the video and actually listen to what I say instead of just looking at the title then I think I made myself clear but I will make this video to be additionally clear so no one misunderstands my point here. So the title of this video you see no one is coming to save you. It's better that you hear this from me now especially if you are a younger guy especially if you have grown up as most of us have with a very feminist indoctrination school system you've heard that men and women are the same and this is absolutely not true at all and the sooner you understand this the better so i will make a separate video for women it will be called the red pill for women how to find a good man something like that and the main point there will be that you have to of course enhance your beauty and fertility and health and everything like that but also primarily to maintain your virtue. Uh, this is a similar topic, a different but similar topic about uh, a society that accepts promiscuity. It's doomed to die basically. It might sound dramatic but it's true. I might elaborate on it in a different video. But anyway, for a young woman who, you know, maintains her virtue and beauty and everything like that, she can, in an optimal scenario, she can expect to be saved by a prince charming. Now for a man, a young man, you can't be expected to you can't expect to be saved by anyone. And I will use an example here. When I see young white guys being jumped by numerous non-white guys beating them up because they hate white people, uh, because of ressentiment and everything like that, because of anti-white uh, school indoctrination, whatever the cause, multiculturalism is very much not something that is good and of course we are working metapolitically to ensure that talking points such as large-scale mass repatriation they come into the mainstream. By the way, a white pill here, they, uh, they have already to a certain extent these talking points. So then it's just a matter of transforming it into policy so we don't have to see these videos or uh, news about white girls being raped or white boys being uh, abused and humiliated and beaten up. So on a political level, hopefully in 20 years it's gone. We have initiated a mass repatriation process so that we don't need to live in this multicultural Gotham City-like nightmare anymore. But until then, until then, my dear esteemed younger audience, especially if you still go to a school where you might be a minority, you know, when I see these videos of a white boy being beaten up, uh, it breaks my heart. Uh, and I think I speak for most older white guys as well, that it breaks their hearts as well. Uh, there isn't really much we can do then and there. Of course, we wish that we would have been there. I wish I could have been there and stopped this abuse of someone from our own tribe. Uh, but we can't because we have our own lives full of work and family and everything like that and we're not in school anymore. So uh, such a simple thing. So the only thing we can do is we can give some advice and encouragement. The only thing I can do, I can't be there for you, I can't stop this abuse. The only thing I can do is to encourage you to put on some size in the gym and to start training to start learning how to fight that's the only thing i can do and of course in addition in the long term i can work metapolitically to work for uh for regime change so that we can restore our nations to order like they used to be good safe homogeneous societies that is what we can do in the long run but here and now the uh, the black pill um if you view it as a black pill i don't know but the only thing I can say is that you, you cannot expect anyone else to come to save you. You need to save yourself and saving yourself meaning putting in the hard work and going to training every day. That's the only thing you can do. Now, same thing if we're talking about women. If you want a girlfriend or a wife or whatever it might be, where you are, at what sort of stage in life you are, you need to also put in the work. You need to create value for yourself. 
uh, because a woman, as I said in my previous video, she already has her value because she has her womb and her body and uh, her feminine graces and uh, everything like that. But as a man you have to look yourself in the mirror and ask what do I bring to this negotiation? So all of life it's a, it's a business negotiation. What can you bring to the table? What value do you bring to this business transaction? I'm sorry for sounding extremely unromantic here but when it comes to matchmaking that's usually what it is it's a it's a negotiation what what can you gain from each other uh, in a healthy society it's of course you know that you can create a family and you can work as a team that is optimal that's the best scenario but you must view it in that sense at least that what do i bring to the table uh, if i want a, a girlfriend if i want a wife what sort of qualities do i bring to her in exchange for her in a primordial sense her um, ability to give life to my offspring to use another example, we can talk about employment. You might look at a cool company you would like to work for, then you also have to ask yourself what sort of qualities do I bring to this company? What value do I bring to this company? So it's a business transaction yet again. Uh, and then you need to be prepared. You need to have, you know, you need to be the best you can be so you can present, okay, this is, I am very well developed in every way, uh, therefore I can bring value to you, or I have this unique talent. I'm a very talented graphic designer or I'm a very talented web designer or whatever it might be you need some sort of talent so that someone might actually you know reach out a uh, uh, helping hand to you so you help each other always you can't expect someone to to only help you but you also need to help them in return um, so that is the the truth of life you need to accept this as a young man and the sooner you accept it the better for you so if you are 17 years old now and you watch this video uh, it's very good it's very good if you can really take this teaching to heart and understand that as a man you will be judged upon your your competence your value to others what sort of what you can bring to the negotiation table and hopefully you view this video then as a uh, some motivation for you to set a high pace and uh, yeah as a man you need to you need to perhaps work a bit harder than females in some ways but females again they have their own struggles and uh, I'm not saying that it's easier to be a female I'm not saying that it's better to be a man or a woman it's just two different paths and you can't listen to this left-wing radicals who say that men and women are the same because if you do believe that you as a man can play by the same rules as a woman yeah you will be in for a rude awakening so please just listen to me now when I say that don't listen to these feminists uh, don't listen to these egalitarian voices it's good to compensate it's good to compensate for whatever shortcoming you might have you're not perfect the way you are no one is i'm not perfect the way i am either this is a realization i came to many years ago and i'm excruciatingly thankful i did because that meant i tried to work on myself to chisel away weaknesses and to enhance my strengths and now i am in a good position because of that now lastly on our white pilling note you will notice when you look when you look for advice you will notice that you have many older guys such as myself i do enjoy giving advice to younger guys and i do enjoy helping out whenever i can uh, so if you start viewing it in that sense if you actively look for good advice from older guys you will notice that yeah you will get some good pointers and insights it all depends on you actually putting in the work but you can get good guidance at least so that is a white pill that ask for advice if you show talent and promise yeah you might expect that some older guys they can invest some time in you if you show promise that you can actually be of value later but the main point is that as a man you will always be judged on what sort of value you can bring to the table on your competence on your reliability so you have a lot of hard work to do and that's actually good it's motivating it's liberating and also when you understand that you're not the center of the universe um, it feels nice to know that. It feels nice that you aren't the center of the universe, that you are a, a humble servant. It might sound strange, and it might sound strange for someone like me who's um, infamous, I suppose, in a certain way for being a bit narcissistic, for being a bit full of myself, but 
if I'm being honest, I view myself more as a servant. I do what I can to bring value to others, and that feels good. It makes me happy, and it makes me, and it makes me feel good about myself. So I'm not saying this in some sort of hippie nonsense way that you should submit yourself to others. I'm saying that do submit yourself to a higher purpose. Do view yourself as a servant because that will make you happy. It will make you feel fulfilled with yourself. So I'm saying this to make you all happy. I'm saying this to motivate you. I'm saying this so you will have a good life. Simple stuff really. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Do check out all links in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. XOXO. Boom.